Hey, what's up, everybody? I'd like to welcome y'all back to the end of week two of Commercial Diving School. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. And if you have any qu questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. Um, first things first, we had for breakfast this morning, biscuits and gravy, bacon and eggs. And then the very first thing after muster, we retook our safety tests. Now, in a previous video, I mentioned that um, most of us failed that test um, because of um, a couple of reasons um, that weren't our fault. It was just uh, an anomaly that you know caused us to do really poorly, and the school was like, "No, that's not right." Um, so they went ahead and fixed that right away, and. Um, we retook that test first thing this morning. So we were really happy about that. We even did a review before we retook it and everything. So the school was awesome about that. So um, we knocked that out straight away, got that out of the way. And then we rolled into our next lesson, um, which was uh, physics. And now I understand why we went into construction math um, because that math was so simple, I was like thinking, why are we doing such simple math? I mean, it was adding and subtracting and multiplying and stuff like that. So why are we doing such simple math? And I now I think because after we jumped into physics, I'm, I, I realized that um, the reason was because um, the math was... Uh, so helpful to do a refresher before we jumped into physics because physics there's a lot of that math going on so it was it, in my opinion it was super helpful to do a refresher of simple math and formulas and conversions and um, measurements and that kind of stuff um, before we did physics so my physics notes um, include um, for diving, there's a lot to do with pressure. You're always going to be worried about what depth you're going to and what the pressure is at that depth. And if you are use, if you have any objects you're taking down to that depth, what are their pressures going to be? Um, if you're using any like lift bags or air, um, the air is going to change its volume once you go down to a deeper depth. Um, a lot of people that have taken scuba diving courses before, um, I remember from my scuba diving courses, um, we talked a lot about that stuff. So the same kind of things apply when it comes to commercial diving, when it comes to um, different pressures and depths and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you have things um, like temperature. Um, there's a lot of formulas. Um, where you have to convert like feet of seawater. So when in commercial diving, you're gonna hear a lot about FSW and that's feet of seawater. You're gonna hear a lot about that because you're gonna need to convert feet of seawater into like say you have 100 feet of seawater. What is that in, in terms of atmosphere? In other words, what is that in terms of pressure exerted at that depth? So that's pretty much the basics of uh, physics for commercial diving. So we did that all day and then we rolled into lunchtime and for lunch was um, we had chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and gravy and mixed vegetables and then after lunch, we finished up the rest of our physics and then um, so that we didn't overload our brain for, <laughs> of physics we, and our heads didn't freaking explode from all the math and equations and stuff, um, we jumped into a film about um, commercial diving. Um, and in school, um, you talk a lot about uh, mishaps and um, safety things, things ha that have gone wrong in the, the whole history of commercial diving so that future generations can learn from those mistakes. Um, and so, like, I'm pretty sure we're going to watch almost every single video that had to do with 
a mistake or um, like for instance like differential pressure um, there's like a video about a crab that gets sucked into a pipe there's that video so um, that's one of the famous videos for commercial diving because um, that's something you never want to encounter as a diver which is differential pressure and then um, another one is like Mythbusters like oh my gosh I've heard like 10 people at this school mentioned the video about the Mythbusters um, with the diving helmet and they um, didn't have a check valve on their hat or helmet and um, they've had a pig in the suit and they um, took away the pressure and the pig like the helmet like started crushing down so anything that has to do with commercial diving any kind of video or something that you can learn as a commercial diver there you're probably going to see them all um, but we the video that we watched in class today was called the last breath it's a documentary um, i think it's on netflix um, before we watched it like a couple days prior they told us you know don't watch it if you watch it early you're going to end up watching it in class again um, but i thought it was a really good film it was really eye-opening and I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, but um, so I'm not going to reveal the end or anything. But um, what it had to do with was um, there's uh, basically three different types of commercial diving. There's inland, where it's like you're going to be in lakes and rivers and that kind of thing inland. And then offshore is just like it implies you're going to be offshore on like an oil rig out in the gulf of mexico um, working out there and then there's saturation diving and saturation diving is deep you need to be pressurized in a hyperbaric chamber down to the same pressure you would experience at the depth where your job is going to take place so say your job is going to take place at 400 feet down the pressure that you would experience at 400 feet deep, you need to get pressurized down to that same pressure um, in order to do work there. The problem is that it takes a lot of time to get pressurized down to that pressure and make sure that all of your gases that saturate into your tissues um, have enough time to equalize before you do work. Um, and then so anyways um, it's about these saturation divers they went on this job and basically it was um, you have the ocean and then you have the ship on top and then below you have they had a line going down to basically a pod and out of this pod there was two divers that were connected to so you have the ship then down to the pod and then from the pod down to the divers and one of the divers basically basically gets stuck down there and his um, hoses where he's breathing from they get cut or snap from the boat just getting drifted off in the storm and he basically gets left down there at about I think it was about 400 feet down something like that so he's he only has tanks on his back that may, that last only like five minutes and he was left down there for like a half an hour and he was in freezing, below freezing temperatures that deep at that pressure all by himself in the dark because when his hoses got snapped he didn't have, that's where his um, electrical uh, light and his source, light source, you know, got snapped. So. Um, they, I'm not going to reveal the end, but it was just super eye opening because, you know, bad things can happen. Um, there's a lot of safety measures that are in place today because of these kind of things that happen in this industry. And it was crazy because right after we finished the film, we walked outside because it was the end of the day and we needed to do our 5 p.m. muster and it was raining and i just looked out and i saw all these guys like i was standing at the door to go outside and i saw like basically the whole entire school waiting to um 
get mustered for the end of the day and it just with the rain and the end of that film it just made me think about all these lives you know there's just like you know 50 60 something lives right here in front of me that are gonna go on and they're gonna do they might be in some dangerous situations and it just made me feel like i hope that they all are safe i hope that everybody that commercial dives is safe and they come back at the end of the day and they don't get hurt and especially you guys that are either interested in commercial diving or are you know already set up to go to commercial diving school like i hope y'all are safe and y'all stay safe and um, i just don't want anything happening to anybody in this industry it's just like a life is so precious and just walking out and seeing everybody that just hit home like for me like hit me or right in the heart so um anyways that was the end of the day like i said um and i'll let you guys know what we're doing next week um i know monday we're rolling back into more physics so t stay tuned for that i'll let you know if we have any more tests coming up or what the schedule might be but uh till then um i hope you guys have a good one thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and like i said leave any comments down below and have a good one peace